الناس من لم يشكر الناس لم يشكر الله whoever doesn't show gratitude to humanity to people does not show gratitude to God and it is our tradition to start our speeches by praising God and thanking him and thanking the people especially you there are many non-muslim neighbors who have joined us in this cold weather to show their support we thank you all for being here thank you very much we have representatives at different levels of the government they've taken time to be with us thank you for being here and we have religious leaders from different faiths they have come not because we may believe in everything we read in our books but we have something powerful that touched everybody yesterday when we heard the news we are human beings and as muslims we can be good human beings we can be good muslims unless we are good human beings and what touch 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 our neighbors the same feeling we had when we saw people dying everywhere in the world and they are still dying people are suffering everywhere it just happened that the perpetrator yesterday he was live on facebook and he documented but every day people are being killed and massacred and we close our eyes we shouldn't be superficial hatred is growing and it's growing every day and it is due to a very big deep crisis and if we're just going to stand here on celebration square and it's ironic it's called celebration it's really there is no celebration today it's commemoration but we have to reflect i don't believe in a prayer just for the past we need to pray also for the future we need to come out of this platform with some resolutions that should be explicit and implicit in our prayers and that is what can we do about this we have a moral crisis people are becoming self-centered today look we are together what brings us together not the internet our humanity we're coming because we're touched deep in our hearts and this is why we are here it's transcending even the differences of religions this self-centeredness leads to many forms, including white supremacists and far right, as you call them. There are many forms of supremacy, including religious supremacy. When a person thinks he's better than others and looks down upon every other human being, that supremacy kills and validates the killing of innocent people. And that's why we stood in this very place many times to condemn acts of terrorism sometimes done in the name of Islam and we know our religion doesn't teach us so we have to stand against anybody who claims to be above others because for us supremacy is only for God God is Al Ali the most supreme we should humble ourselves our children our children our children I am ashamed as a father I sometimes ask why did I bring these children to this world to see all this suffering I don't want to share these videos with my children but I have to tell them be vigilant and careful this world has become worse than a jungle even in the jungle people only animals only eat when they are hungry but there is too much greed in this world too much killing too much blood being shed in the name of many supremacies and we have to humble ourselves and we can't give peace if we don't have it and peace suggests that we pray today and think about what's happening self-centeredness internet people are becoming you know we have a mental health ask any religious leader community leader we have a serious problem with mental health it's clearly unfortunately i had to watch the whole video the guy is sick but i don't want him to to run away with the idea of being sick he is responsible while listening to the same very song that was heard by the soldiers who did this sabrinica in bosnia many years ago same song
being that song that calls to supremacy. And people are being killed in the name of, you know, many things. So we can't talk now today about names. We are here to pray. Please, God Almighty says, الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون. Let's repeat this. إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون. One more time. Truly to God Almighty, we belong, and truly to Him we will return. Those who have died yesterday, very bad, but we believe they are in a better place. They were they washed themselves on Friday. They were facing Qibla. They were praying on the, the best day we Muslims believe is Friday. They were praying. They were listening to what would give them hope, faith, and love, and they were praying to the Creator. They died. They are martyrs. And the Quran says, do not call those who have died in such a way that they are living. May God bless their souls. May God give patience to their families. And we thank all those nations who spoke up, especially the leaders who called the spade, spade, called terrorism, terrorism. Shame on those who don't call what happened yesterday terrorism. If that is not terrorism, then what is terrorism? That is terrorism. That is terrorism in its ugliest form. Shame on those who don't call it terrorism. Let us read Surah Al-Fatiha. This is our tradition, and I would invite everybody to join us. This beautiful chapter, the opening chapter of the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawm al-Din. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Indina as-sirat al-mustaqim. صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. Thank you very much for being here. As I have the chance to be the last speaker, I thank you for being here. Please leave with hope. There is a lot to live for. There are good people. Pray for this country, Canada, and stand against gun and weapon. Proliferation and gun control laws, politicians, please more gun controls, more control of the and and respect of the authorities, but also respect of dignity of every human being. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.